When Canada's national rugby team takes on Scotland here at BMO Field on Saturday, they will be wearing some of the most technologically advanced rugby uniforms on the planet, courtesy of Under Armour. We're headed inside the stadium to find out how Rugby Canada's performance and its revenue can both receive a boost from this uniform. I believe there are advantages um, to Canada now wearing the Under Armour product. The technology they brought in, uh, I see how the way uh, that Wales plays in the attire that they wear and I've seen Claremont play and, and they won 76 or 77 home games in a row. Part of it has to be with the, uh, with the Under, Armour, Under Armour product. Right now, with the new uniform with the logo and the new uniform design, how far does that go towards helping Canada's rugby programs establish an identity? We think about New Zealand, we know it's the All Blacks and we know what we're gonna get, they're a brand. How does this help Canada kind of take a step in that direction? Look better, help Canada sell more um, product off the field was in turn giving more revenues to continue to grow the game within Canada. So Corey, you tell me Under Armour took about a year to develop this rugby specific technology for Canada. Talk to us about the process of, of, of coming up with this whole kit. So years back we started our relationship with Welsh Rugby Union. We started to dig deep as to what does a rugby player do, where can we, where can we improve, what can we do that's more than just a straight up fabric. Then over the years we've honed that, tweaked that and now the latest uh, Rugby Canada announcement where they have the best kit on the, on the market. Describe to our viewers the, the special features that make this rugby. Absolutely, specific. there's a lot going on here and you can't see it from the stands. So the grid is to prevent tackling. The grid is this sort of, this piece here, this piece here. It's the it places you're most likely to be someone to grab on. This is not stretchable. It should fit pretty tight to the athlete and it's hard to hang on to. And if your camera can pick it up, there's components of it that have armor grip on them. This part is a bit sticky, so that's to help an aiding catching the ball and holding the ball to your chest when you do that. Five years from now, 10 years from now, where is this headed and how much tighter can it be before you guys just start spray painting uh, uniforms on skin? Our athletes didn't look quite this chiseled. They didn't need to, but the game has changed, the athletes have changed, the amount of training that goes into it has changed, and so this kind of physique is kind of more the norm now, so we can get a lot tighter and still have it comfortable. And uh, hey, the tighter the shirt, the harder it is to grab onto and harder to pull you down. Is this gear here available uh, commercially? There will certainly be a replica of this, of this top in red and in black. So that as a fan of Rugby Canada, you can pick this up. You can buy that on Rugby Canada's e-com site, easiest place to get.